This is the Video Game Votary. Show your support and hit subscribe right now. What's going on Video Game Votary Vanguard? This is your boy the Video Game Votary here with another Pickers video. So this is going to be a little bit different than what we normally do on Pickers videos. Normally I just kind of pick a few out of the pile that I picked up. I get some footage. I talk about each game and that's it. But this one was a little bit of a challenge. I saw a post recently on Facebook. And there was a conversation taking place and they were saying how garbage the Wii is and how there's no great games. So, out of some of the pickups that I had left over from these GameStop sales, I decided to pick five of the best ones that I found and that I feel that are hidden gems for the Nintendo Wii. So sit back, subscribe, catch the vibe, and find out these five hidden gem Wii games and games that I think are great for pickup and on the cheap. Next. Okay, so first off, we have Alone in the Dark. It is, a, it is a survival horror video game. It's the fifth installment of the series under the same name created by Atari. Now, this is a game that I saw gameplay footage and I actually um, caught one of the game through uh, Radical Reggie's uh, YouTube channel. If you haven't subscribed to his channel, great content creator. Um, but this like i said it's a survival horror game and the plot on this particular game is that it's set out it's a little different because the ones before this one was like dvd style episodes where the player could choose to start the game from the beginning or choose to skip to a section if they get stuck but this game is kind of you know you go along normally like a normally paced game so this is one of the games that i felt like was uh I guess quote unquote one of the heavy hitters and one of the better games on the Nintendo Wii. So check out this footage right here. Patience with all this shit you're pulling. After all the shit we went through to hunt you down. I can't believe it's going down like this. What? Hold on. Did you hear that? Wait a second. Next we have Destroy All Humans Big Willy Unleashed. It's an action adventure game developed by Locomotive Games and published by THQ for the Wii. It's the third installment in the Destroy All Humans franchise. A PS2 version was really originally supposed to be released but was canceled because of the budget cuts. Also a PSP version was canceled due to control issues and it was mostly involved with due, due to um, porting over the controls from the Wii's version. But this particular um, game in the franchise takes place before the events of Path of the Furon and after Destroy All Humans 2. So check out gameplay footage right now of Destroy All Humans Big Willy Unleashed. Wait, you fool! You can't simply go waltzing about without learning which buttons activate your various powers and weapons. Come on, Pox. Do we gotta do this every time? I've been destroying humans for 20 years now. I know how it works. So you say. But if you do not in fact possess complete mastery of your skills, I prepared hints to reacquaint you. You're putting me to sleep. Or if you choose to ignore the prompt out of spite, you may access the guide through the pause menu at any time. So it's the pause that refreshes your memory. Oh, the pain.
And up next, we have Final Fantasy released in North America a couple months later. And unlike the GameCube predecessor, Crystal Bears, it features a fully real-time combat system focusing on the free roaming and action adventure for a single player, which I'm personally a fan of. Um, not that anything's wrong with turn-based style games, but I'm really into the action adventure style that kind of... Where's the escort craft? Ka ching There it is! Next we have Soul Calibur Legends, which is a spin-off of the very popular Soul Calibur fighting game series. This particular game is a hack and slash action adventure game. Um, and this takes place between Soul Edge and Soul Calibur and it's based around Siegfried's transformation into Nightmare. So this is super awesome. This is probably my, it was a toss up between this one and the last game I'm going to show you on this pickups video of which one is the best. But I absolutely see me putting plenty of time into this game. Super fun. I'm not always the biggest fan of motion controls and this game gives you the option to turn those off and just kind of play and you can still use the um, gestures and stuff like that to utilize the Wii remote, but not necessarily the motion control. So very, very great game. Soul Calibur, I think they did a good job with a spinoff and gave it a very good storyline. So check it out here. sword is <laughs> you will soon learn what happens to those who are ensnared by the power of soul edge <laughs> and last but not least we have red steel 2 which is a first person shooter hack and slash video game developed by ubisoft paris it was uh exclusive to the nintendo wii console it's a standalone sequel to red steel uh, this game was released in 2010, and then it came out in Europe uh, a day later. And this game is based on an unnamed hero, the last member of the Kasaga Gari clan, is being dragged across the desert. 
tied to the back of a motorcycle. Now, like I was saying in the previous footage, there was toss up between this and the Soul Calibur Legends game of my favorite of these pickups. And I do feel that Red Steel 2 is a hidden gem for the Nintendo Wii. Now, all of these games aren't Nintendo Wii exclusives, although a couple of them are, but I feel like some of these games are great games for the Nintendo Wii, with this being exclusive as well as uh, Soul Calibur Legends. Um, this has the Wii Motion Control Plus, uh, Wii Motion Plus controls, which again, I'm not the greatest fan of, and I'm not sure if it's because I have an aftermarket controller, but um, as you can see here in the footage, it has great graphics, great gameplay, plays excellent, fantastic game. If you have a Nintendo Wii, be sure to stop past your local GameStop and pick this up. You probably can get this for no more than five bucks uh, at the most ten, depending on where you are. So, Red Steel 2.
Okay, guys. Well, this concludes today's videos. I just want to thank all of you guys, the video game Vordy Vanguard is, for your continued support. Don't forget to follow, like, and subscribe to the channel. If you haven't, hit the subscribe button. Also, hit the follow button on all social media and gaming platforms at Video Game Vordy. All the links are below. Also, my personal Facebook profile. Don't forget to follow my good brother, Kenny Mac 85 His um, YouTube channel will also be tagged in the description as well. Again, Vanguardians, thank you for your continued support. Also, want to give you guys a big thank you for everyone that reached out um, in the comments of the last video and the passing of my uncle. It was very much appreciated. It was well received. And I'm just super, super duper thankful for every fan that I have for this channel. Thank you for your continued support. Leave comments on these videos, guys. Let me know what you guys want to see, what kind of content you guys want me to create for you guys. This channel is all for you. I do it because I love it, but I also want to do my due diligence and do the best I can to fulfill the needs of my audience. So. Once again, thank you for your continued support. Share with all your friends. It's your boy, The Video Game Votary, signing off. Thank you for watching. Follow me on all social media platforms at Video Game Votary.